Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Um, today our mantra will be, be the light. I'll take you through a 30-minute practice just to get you moving this morning on this Friday. <clears throat> so I'll have you start in a seated position. Arms out to the side, palms facing up. And your shoulders just roll them down and back. Start to breathe deeply into the body. And feeling, feeling that light, that light within you. I know that that light, as it grows deep inside, can send that light out into the world. Send it to those that need it. Deep breaths, inhaling through the nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Start to feel the vibration, the energy around your body now. So settle into your practice, center into your body. And just be in this present moment for yourself right now. an oracle card to start your practice this morning. When I accept the love of the universe as a primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. Works well here today. Be the light. Repeat that. When I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. And just take three more deep breaths in your seated position. Feeling the light. It's deep down inside. With each exhale, allow that light to expand and grow. Next breath in, you can start to open your eyes. We're going to make our way into a, a tabletop position on our mat. <clears throat> and 
hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Let's find some cat cow. So inhale into your cow, lifting your eyes, lifting your tail. Exhale, cat. Inhale. Exhale. Ex extending and, and flexing your spine. So important to do. Because we are only as young as our spine is flexible. Three more air on pace. And then coming back to that neutral spine, let's tuck our toes, lift our knees down, the facing dog, walking the dog. Press an equal weight into our hands. And then holding your down dog, three breaths here. Tilting the tail to the sky. Bending your knees, taking a walk to the top of your space, finding forward fold, feet hip distance. Let's grab opposite elbows and just release the neck, the shoulders, ragdoll, letting the arms sway side to side, forward and back. Bend the knees. Slowly bend those knees, release the hands to the floor, rolling up one vertebrae at a time, reaching to the sky, prayer to your heart center. Be the light, shine your light. Um, we're going to do something different today. We're going to come space in the front, so your feet nice and wide. Pointing your toes forward, first to let your heart. And we're going to come into a side lunge. So keeping your prayer at your heart, let's bend through your right knee. And then slowly release the hands to the floor. Keeping the chest up. And just feeling that stretch through the inner thigh. Turning your right toes towards the side wall. Let's windmill the arms up, warrior two. Shoulders down. Look over your front fingers. And then um, coming into our reverse, warrior, C-shape the spine, relax the shoulders. Windmill the arms over, triangle, push your hips away, reach, and then wherever that hand wants to land, we're not that warm yet, so just take your time, reach your arm up towards the sky, look up if that is you. Nice. And then slowly windmill your hands down towards the floor, pick up your back heel, Lunge, twist to the back. Good. Slowly bring that hand down. Turn your front toes, your right toes back forward, both toes forward into your side lunge. One more breath. 
You can always have hands up here. You can't come to the floor. Awesome. And then slowly come up, extending both legs and arms out to the side. Reach your arms up, palms facing out. Lean back into your space. Slowly bring your arms back out wide. Turn your left toes forward. And we're going to come into the side lunge on this side. So either hands on your thigh, okay, or hands on the floor, hands on your cat. Hey, baby. Good. And then slowly turning your toes back out to the side into your warrior two. Shoulders down. Be in line with ankle. C-shape your spine, Millie. Don't look like my plant. Relax the shoulders. Good, and then slowly to windmill. Um, actually, extending that front leg. Triangle, did that scare you? She almost pulled my plant down. Reach up through those top fingers. And then bend into your front knee, pick up your back heel, Re, um, lunge twist, squeeze in the inner thighs. Good. And then slowly bring the hand back down, turn your toes back towards the front, towards me. Side lunge, lift up to the chest. Okay, hands can be here, feel that inner thigh stretch. Nice, and then pressing into both feet, reach your arms out into that star position, lean back into your space, be the light. Expand your light through your fingertips. Good. And then bend in your knees. Turn your toes towards this side of your mat, fingertips to the floor. Pick up your uh, step back, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Let's take a flow. So take a deep breath in. You're going to shift forward into plank. Knees can come down. Exhale down to chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to down dog. Let's do that again. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, push back. Good. One more time. Let's get really warm. Forward. Lower. Lift. Push back. Awesome. Three breaths here. Slowly bring your knees down. And let's bring our forearms down. We're going to come into dolphin pose. So dolphin pose, modified dolphin. You're going to keep your knees down. And just push your forearms down into the mat. Your head can come down and just push your hips back. Okay? Dolphin, you're going to tuck the toes. Think down dog. But you're pushing into those forearms. Look between your knees. Your head can be resting on the floor. Just keep pushing into those forearms. Breathe in. Then if it feels right, lift your right leg high to the sky. Three-legged down dog dolphin. Bend the knee. Try to open that top hip. Slowly bring the foot down. Let's go to the other side. Lift up left leg. Bend the knee if that's you. Slowly, slowly, bring that foot down, bring your knees down, sit back, child's pose. Three breaths here. Be 
Feel the vibration of the earth. Feel the light that wants to shine out. Send that light to somebody that needs it. Each breath. And then slowly on your next breath, come back into all fours. And let's find a core strengthening one. Exercise. So you're going to tuck your toes, lift your knees, just hover your knees off the floor. Okay? If you can, try to shift forward and back. Forward and back. Keep hovering those knees. Three, two, and one. Push up to downward facing dog. Walk your dog out. Let's bend our knees and take a walk to the top of our space. Forward fold. Letting your head just hang. Take a deep breath in. Reach up. Prayer to your heart. Bring your feet together, sit back into your chair. Inhale, reach up your palms to the sky, little baby back bend. Come back into chair, sit back. Do it again, looking up. Squeeze your glutes, come back into your chair, weight in your heels. One more time, reach it up. Come back into chair, hold here. Squeeze in the inner thighs, try to tuck your tail under. Deep breaths. One more breath. Set your right foot back, high lunge. Heels up, prayer to heart. Inhale, extend your legs, reach your arms up. Exhale, prayer to heart. Feel the light. Now shine your light out as you extend. Prayer to hearts, sinking into the legs. Inhale, lift once more. And as you exhale, to roll your back heel down, warrior two. Inhale, sweep the arms up and into your heart space. Be in line with ankle, shoulders down your back. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky, joyous warrior. Shine your light out. Feel the light. Be the light. And then leaning away, keep holding on to that light. Lean away into your sun warrior. Reach those fingers away. Maybe you look up, maybe you look straight ahead. Inhale, exhale, one more breath. Exhale, windmill your hands all the way down to the floor. Pick up your back heel, push back, down dog. Let's take a flow again. Forward to your plank, lower down, lift up, down dog. Beautiful, bend your knees. Take a walk to the top of your space again. Let the head go, let the arms go. Inhale, rolling up, reach into the sky. Prayer to your heart. Feet come back together. Sit back in the chair. Inhale, reach up, prayer to, prayer to the sky. Shine your light. Prayer back to your heart, sit low. Inhale, lift up, lean back, if that is you, sit low. Inhale, lift, exhale, 
Exhale, sit low, hold here. Tuck your tail, squeeze your inner thighs, prayer into your heart space. Feel the light, feel the energy. One more breath, and then step your left foot back, high lunge. Roll the shoulders back. breath, turning to the back, warrior two, prayers to let your heart center, roll the shoulders down, knee in line with ankle in front, press into the back foot, inhale, lift your arms up to the sky, shining your light, growing through your fingers, joyous warrior, leaning back if that's you a little bit, Making sure that knee stays in line with ankle, weave not coming in, screw it out towards the pinky toe. And then lean away to your sun, the reverse warrior, reaching for that light. Be the light. One more breath. And then slowly windmill your arms all the way down to the floor. Pick up your back heel, push back, down dog. Take your flow or stay in down dog. Coming in, inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale to down dog. Three breaths here. Be the light. Give your light to somebody that needs it. Go up, bend your knees. Walk to the top of your space. Let your head go. Bend the knees all the way up to the sky, reaching prayer to your heart. You're gonna come, I'm gonna face you now. Step your feet nice and wide, toes pointing forward. Inhale, find your star once more. Palms facing out, reach up. Feel the warmth of your light as it shines, as it sends beautiful energy to the world, to your loved ones, to yourself. Be the light. Slowly bending your knees, you're gonna tip forward. Reach your arms towards me, you're coming into a flat back, and then all the way to the floor. Let your head just go. And then let's have, let's press your right hand into the floor, right underneath your shoulder, and let's find a twist. So reach your left arm to the sky, if that's you, otherwise hand to hip. Turning your chest towards the side wall. Little micro bend in your knees. But feel that twist through the upper back. Through your low back. One more breath. And then slowly replace your left hand down, right hand either on your hip or reaching up to the sky as you twist to the other side. Feel everything. One more breath. And then hand to the floor. Bend your knees, we're gonna come onto our mat. And we're gonna come right into our Shavasana, and we deserve it, okay? So I'll have you either lay down on your back. If you have a bolster, you wanna lay on the bolster, you can. You can bring the bolster underneath your knees. You can use a block, you can use a pillow. Whatever you need in this moment, okay? Get to that point, that position now.
read you a different oracle card for our meditation from my super attractor deck. When I'm tuned in to the energy of abundance, I become abundant. When, I tu when I'm tuned in to the energy of abundance, I become abundant. And the one I read at the beginning of class, which I'm going to say again, I don't normally do this, but when I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. So closing your eyes, letting your palms face up, allowing yourself to receive the energy of the universe, the light that you created in this practice today. Be proud of yourselves for showing up. Be proud of yourselves for giving you this time to release any stagnant energy, any negativity, any worry, any doubt. That is what you need to do right now. Feeling the energy and the love and the support around you. Know that it is always there, even when you're not conscious of it. You are being held. You are being taken care of. Take this present moment to just breathe into your body. And to know that you are being held. Something of a greater power that you know of is taking care of you now. Be the light. Know that that light, when you shine bright, it helps others around you. I'm going to read you a passage from my favorite book. It was almost 11 o'clock at night. I was driving down a highway in Colorado on the west side of the mountains. I was exhausted, driving and driving, hoping I was going somewhere. Hoping the road that led, hoping the road led to some place where I could rest and replenish myself. Whenever I would become fearful, wondering if I had taken complete leave of my senses, I'd look up in the sky. A crescent moon was snuggling between two mountains. It seemed to urge me on, beckoning me to drive toward it. Finally, I reached the place marked by the moon. It was a lodge not listed in any directory, in a town not even on my map. It had a mineral bath in the grounds, and yes, an available room. Sometimes when I'm driving late at night on a strange road, I'm not sure which turn to take. I look for a light. The moon might be setting above a particular place, lighting it with its glow. The lights of the city might brighten one direction from more than another. A certain road appears lighter, feels better, feels right. Often that's what happens in our lives. When we get to a fork in the road and we're not certain which direction to go, there's usually one path that appears lighter than the other. Sometimes the light is dim. Sometimes it can only be seen with the eyes of our soul, the eyes of our heart. But it's also a light that can be clouded and blocked by fear, tenseness, and the lack of faith. 
relax. Tune into your body. Trust your heart. Look around. When you don't know which way to go next, wait. Soon a path will open up. It will appear lighter. It will feel right. When in doubt, go toward the light. When you get to a fork in the road, choose the way that feels lightest. The light will take you to the next place. The light will lead you home. And the light that you shine out into the world today will help somebody else find their light, shine their light, then for another person. When I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. When I'm tuned into the energy of abundance, I become abundant. Keeping the focus on yourself, your body shining that light so you are the light Feeling the light, feeling the energy of love, support, and peace around you. Just breathe deeply, long and deep, into your body now, until I bring you back. slowly bring you back to this present time. Start by wiggling your fingers and toes, awakening your body, still feeling the light around you. If you're comfortable, stay where you are. If you'd like, you can bring your knees into your chest and do a gentle rock from side to side. 
and then in your own time, you can make your way to a seated position. Arms out to the sides and your eyes are still closed. And a deep breath in, arms lift overhead. Palms touch at the top and your prayer comes to your heart center. Another deep breath. Prayer to your forehead to think good thoughts. Prayer to your lips to speak kind words. And prayer back to your heart. You can do good things. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste. Thanks for joining me this morning. Or whenever you watch this, um, I will be posting it on my YouTube channel, Light Love Yoga Italy Retreats. So you can watch it again at your leisure. Just remember to be the light. Be the light for others, be the light for yourself. Know that you can always tap into that at any time. And feel the energy and the love and the support of the universe all around you at any time during the day, even for two minutes. Sit in that space of stillness and connect with your higher self. Thank you again. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your weekend. I appreciate you. I love you. If nobody's told you that today, um, I miss all of you at the gym, at the studio. Thank you. Any questions? Anything you'd like? Oh, thanks, Jennifer. You're welcome. Enjoy your day.